There's a company out there that claims these little pads can replace your drum rug. What's up? Justin here. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things e drum related. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. So this thing right here, these are called drum brakes. It's actually kind of hard to find this product because whenever you type drum brakes into Google, it keeps showing up like car parts. I bought this. It comes in a four pack. It cost me 20 bucks. I was at Columbus Percussion playing some drum sets there. That's a really nice store if you haven't visited it. And if you live in Ohio, go check it out. But anyway, I was on my way out and I saw this. $20 and I was like, hey, I could actually use these. So I decided to buy them and I knew I'd do a review eventually. So it's like a month later, I've been using these for quite a bit. And uh, so I'm gonna explain how well they work. But before I do that, let me explain why I had to buy these in the first place. In the beginning, when I first started drumming, like, I don't know, eight years ago or something, I, I got this right here. This is my original drum rug and it's not even a drum rug. It's a piece of carpeting left over from a renovation at a house I used to live at. So we redid the living room and maybe the dining room or something. And there was whole like reams of carpet that was left over because we got too much. So I just went down to the basement one day when I got my first drum set, the one behind me actually, and I just cut a giant piece of it out and it became my drum rug completely free. And it was awesome. The not so awesome thing about it is that it's really, really ugly couple of things. First of all, I don't like this pattern. I don't, it doesn't look like a drum rug. Also, as you can see all this stuff right here, it frays and you have to continually go around with a pair of scissors to cut off all these like frayed edges and it's white. So every little, you know, mark on it shows up. So ideally I just wanted something that would look nicer. It didn't really matter to me. Obviously I used this for like eight years. So obviously I wasn't bothered by it too much. The reason why I upgraded to this other drum rug behind me is because I have a YouTube channel and there's like 2 million views or something now. So lots of people are looking at that and I wanted it to be more professional, especially when you're seeing like the overhead shots. I wanted there to be like an all black or an all dark blue surface on the ground and not this giant piece of old carpeting from a house I used to live in. So what I did was I went the absolute cheapest route I could possibly go. I went to Lowe's, I went to the outdoor carpet section and I got this humongous roll of carpet and that's what's down there right now. It cost me $20, that's it. It was incredibly cheap. If you go online right now and buy an actual legit drum rug from, I don't know, Sabian or something, they're like one to $300. It's absolutely insane. The coolest feature I've ever seen on a drum rug was I saw one where there was like a wood block where the kick drum goes so it would stop it. So that, that was a really cool idea, but I didn't feel like spending $300 to buy a drum rug. So instead I bought a $20 piece of carpet and used that as my drum rug. Now, I don't know if you've ever bought or used outdoor carpeting. The problem with it is that it's incredibly thin. So it was not a good choice as a drum rug. My hi-hat stand started sliding around. Never had that issue really with this. Uh, one of the main culprits is the floor. This, the guy who built this house, he actually legit built it as he lived in it. So there are little imperfections around this house and this floor is not completely level. And really the only issue I've had with this entire drum set on the new, the, the new piece of carpet I'm using, the only issue is with that hi-hat stand. So let's go back to when I was at Columbus Percussion, I saw a package of four of these and I was thinking to myself, my hi-hat stand is the only problem. It has three legs on it. And that means I'll have one to spare. And if it doesn't work, I can yell about it in a review. And if it does work, I can tell you guys to go buy it. 20 bucks for four of these actually seems like a lot, but I bit the bullet and I got it anyway. So here's how it works. You get this Ziploc bag where all four of these are in here. So when you go from gig to gig, you're supposed to actually put these back in the pouch you bought them in. So it's resealable, reusable. I actually ripped through it as I was opening it because I don't know. They come covered in these two pieces of plastic. So you have to, you have to peel them off and the bottom piece right here, it's really, really sticky. This is what you put on the carpet. Now it's not the kind of sticky where it's some sort of glue. It's just that kind of rubber. And if it becomes unsticky after a while, you can like wash it with soap and water and it will become sticky again. So think of this as a giant moon gel, but you put it on the floor. That's kind of sort of the idea behind this. It's kind of stretchy. If you look at this from the top, it looks like a flat soccer ball that's painted black and it's got this texture on it so that your stands can grip onto something. And so all I had to do was I put one of these underneath each of the legs of my hi-hat stand. And ever since I've done that, it works like this stuff legit works. If you have one stand or one floor tom that just moves, 
then if you don't want to get an entire drum rug, then maybe go with these. Before I put my money down to buy this, I was talking to the guy at the music store and I was like, hey dude, have you ever used these? Do they actually work? And he's like, yeah, they, they do work pretty good. Um, don't use them on linoleum floors though because they don't work on that. Now, the problem is they only give you four in each package. So that's $20 divided by four. These are $5 a piece. There's probably a way to go find a giant sheet of really sticky rubber at some hardware store somewhere and then cut out circles or whatever. But if you don't wanna go through all that work and you feel like spending 20 bucks to fix one stand that's giving you issues, then this works. So the number one takeaway is don't use outdoor carpeting if you wanna have a drum rug. I know it's only 20 bucks, but only buy like medium or thick carpeting for a drum rug. Or maybe it's just because I'm in a sucky room. Honestly, um, only, one pa only one stand is giving me issues. So it could be just that there's like a dent in the floor right where the hi-hat stand is. But regardless, I didn't really have that issue much, at least with this piece of carpeting. So go for at least a medium or thick carpeting if you don't wanna buy a legit drum rug. So question of the day, do you have a legit drum rug that you spent like one or $300 on? Or do you have some sort of DIY solution or just some rug that you bought at a carpet store somewhere? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to find out. It's like a survey. Anyway, hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll see you in a few.